Welcome back for another video tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. Uh, what I'm going to speak about today is uh, how to make screenshots from uh, uh, either your Mac or your PC. Obviously, I work on a Mac, so uh, that's how we're going to do it on here. You can go to our website, GraphicDesignerTips.com, and uh, the way it sounds is the way it's spelt. So uh, go there, and on this page, um, I'm going to put a link below the video. Uh, you'll be able to find different ways and uh, different options for screenshotting on Macs and PCs. So uh, what a screenshot really is, is it's basically uh, whether you're on a web page or you're on your own desktop, you can uh, either take a picture of your whole desktop or what's you know what you're looking at, what you're reading. Um, say you find a nice bit of information on the on the internet and you really don't have time to copy and paste it, uh, so you just take a quick screenshot. You can also uh, specifically uh, get a specific area and target that and make the picture out of that area uh, so if it's like a little icon you see in a website you really like and you just want to save it for later real quick and maybe you're running out the door and uh, so you can screenshot that little area and then use it later so uh, the first thing I want to show you is um, a project that I recently worked on and I'm not gonna uh, be going through how to build a project I'm really just gonna be start going to be talking about how to do the screenshot uh, but if I come to my Firefox web browser uh, I redid a banner for this uh, web page and um, the way that I did that was by screenshotting the web page uh, finding out the dimensions of this web banner and then creating a web banner on top of this with using this website background as a guide in Illustrator so uh, the way that I would do that is first I would make sure I uh, before I did anything was select this image and right click it and save to the desktop which I did already uh, because banners uh, if you see if I click this this banner moves around it's an image so if you right click that to go to save as it will save it uh, wherever you ask to save it to um, the reason I do that is because now you can pull that into Illustrator see the exact dimensions and then you can make the web banner from those exact dimensions so uh, what I did next was I took a screenshot uh, of this of this image and if you're on a PC right now you can do that by uh, I believe going to control and uh, or alt it might be the alt button which is uh, a little left to the keyboard and holding on the alt button and then hitting print screen uh, the print screen button on your PC keyboard is gonna be more towards the top right uh, somewhere where it says like page down and and, uh, and around there so uh, I think it says print over there too so uh, you can also read on our website, but that's where it's going to be uh, on a PC keyboard. On a Mac, uh, you can do a couple of things. You can either A, you can hit Shift Command, or Command is also Apple, so Shift Apple and the number three. And if I minimize this, it's actually took a screenshot, and I'm gonna open that right now. It went right to my desktop. That's where it's always gonna go. So that's the exact part I just saw. This is a picture. All right, so or I can uh, get out of that window, or I can hit Shift Apple again, and the number four. Now this time, if you see this little crosshairs on the screen in the top left, I can click anywhere in here and specify what I want to be taken in the picture. So I would click here, and you can let go of all the buttons now that you clicked. Uh, all I have is my hand on the mouse. My other hand is not touching the keyboard anymore. And I'm just going to select what I want. And if you listen very closely, when I let go, it takes a picture. I don't know if you heard that little picture thing. It's like a, uh, like a camera flash type of a sound. So now that screenshot is on my desktop, just like the other one, but there's a difference. You don't have all that extra space in the background. So that's what we wanted here. And I'm going to... I'm going to first go back to my desktop now that I have those two screenshots that I need. Well, the one screenshot and then the banner that was saved so I can get the dimensions. And I'm going to drag that banner right to the Illustrator icon. Okay. And I'm going to select the banner, right? And if you come up here, so you're going to see your X, Y, and then the width and the height. So, uh, my banner, I'm actually, I want to change this to pixels because that's how web graphics, uh, that's how we read web graphics. I mean, you can really set a document as anything, but it's always good to uh, make sure everything is at pixels. So you would go to Illustrator Preferences General. Uh, in some cases, it's going to be under Edit Preferences. That's on a PC. So here, uh, you're going to go to Units and Display Performance. 
and the general for right now change that to pixels okay so you're gonna hit OK and now select this image again and we're gonna see it's 960 pixels by 250 pixels high so come to file document setup now we're gonna change this and we can still see the dimensions in the top in case we forgot them and this is set on pixels already because that's our general setting um, we're gonna change that to 960 by 250 alright make sure that orientation is horizontal hit OK and if we move this now we see this is our artboard this right here um, you can go to view hide artboard, artboard um, but obviously in this case I want to show the artboard just kind of showing you what you can do with that in case you want to get rid of the artboard so let's bring this back here and we're going to create a layer and I'm gonna put it under this layer because this banner is going to be on top of whatever we're putting in here right now so I'm going to go back to my desktop and I'm going to take the screenshot of the full website and we're gonna drag this we can either drag this into Illustrator it's gonna create a new document or you could actually I have a well, I have a 17 inch screen but it's all everything spanned out to the edge right now so you can actually drag that photo onto your actual document your other document and it's gonna do the same thing it's gonna embed the photo uh, onto it it's not going to link the photo like I've spoken in other in other tutorials so just take a look here yep and uh, so now I'm on this bottom layer my goal is to put that screenshot on this layer and make sure it's in the right position because we're gonna start designing other things on top of this and on top of uh, that background layer on other layers so um, we're going to hit command V to paste this and you see that it's off just a little bit and we're gonna move this up with the arrow alright this is this doesn't have to be 100 percent perfect because we did set our document up to the correct pixel size so in the end when we save it it's really not gonna matter now I have this saved so I'm going to lock this layer because I'm not gonna touch this background object you see when I go over it that little pencil appears that means you cannot draw or do anything on this layer so um, I'm going to come up to this layer now layer one and I'm gonna select that banner again and I'm going to delete it and now what we can start doing is we can start designing on top of this uh, on top of this canvas because now our layer is set if I make this disappear our document setup is still that size of that banner and all we're doing is designing on top of the website so we can get a visual eye of what it's really gonna look like it's pretty cool so what we want to do is while we're on this layer I'm gonna name rename layer one to banner uh, if you start doing a couple different banners you might want to name them banner one banner two um, come up to object crop area make all right, it's going to make crops. If you see real quick, let me turn this off. It made crops in each corner. And now we're going to go to object crop area release. And it's going to create a stroke. Uh, and it's going to show where our banner is going to be. Now, all you can do with this right now, um, I mean, you can do anything with it. But what you want to do is just to get this banner in the background to disappear uh, from your site just because you want to start working on a new project is you want to come over here and you want to hit that little icon right there and that is going to make it white with a black stroke so now this is where we're going to work and we're gonna actually uh, create our, our new banner so uh, if you want you can click this element and you can either lock this element or you can create or you can lock this layer and create an another layer on top of it but in this case I'm just gonna lock this uh, once you get a hang of, of how layers and stuff work uh, and how locking objects work you start to kind of figure out your own way of doing things so now that I have this I'm going to just hit command or Apple 2 and that's gonna lock that element so now nothing is selectable so now I'm free reign to design whatever I want on here so actually and now you can design on here you can start selecting your fonts maybe do that bold uh, throw a blue in there uh, what you can do is actually um, you can come over to the eyedropper and select one of the blues over here and it keeps the continuity obviously of the colors uh, so they play off each other a little bit and then maybe over to the left I'm gonna throw an image now you're basically you have free reign to do whatever you want 
uh, because you took the screenshots, you're using it as a template, uh, as if you're designing onto the website right now. So uh, the way that you would say this when you're done is obviously this is not a web banner that's finished, but uh, my time's coming up on this, on this video. So we're gonna go to object and we have to make crop marks on this. Uh, crop marks, uh, just to show where the edge of the document is, just to show that 960 by I believe it was 230 pixels, because if you don't, watch what happens. If we go to file and save for web and devices, it's going to give us everything, all right? It's going to give us this whole piece, and it's gonna give us this piece that's 1,281 pixels in width and 784 pixels in height. And when I say this as a JPEG, it's, it's, it's the whole thing that this is what we don't want. So we're gonna come back up here to object and we're gonna to go to crop area and make. Now it's making crop marks right where our web banner is. So if we go back up to file and save for web and devices, you're going to see that it's just going to save that web banner. So if we come over here to image size just to double check ourselves that we didn't mess up anything, it's gonna say 960 width and 250 pixels in height. So that's how we started our document and that's the correct way it's going to save. So now we're just gonna save this uh, to our desktop as, just say test banner, all right? And now we have our test banner, okay? And we can just hit F11 on our Macs uh, so we can get back to our desktop and see everything. And this is what our test banner looks like, obviously, because that's how we saved it. And now you can go and upload that on your own website. So um, it's pretty cool because once you have this set, you can really just keep creating layers on top to, to go with different variations. And the final web banner that we did produce for the client uh, ended up looking like this. So this is for another tutorial. And that's what it looked like, um, the final version of it. So if I turn this layer off, this is what we started with and this is what we're ending up with. Something that's more brighter, uh, a nicer feeling. Uh, it gives an idea of, it's an inviting feel in it. And um, so that's it on screenshots. Um, you can visit our website by clicking the link below here. That's gonna go directly to the, uh, the article that I've written on this stuff. Uh, on our website, graphicdesignertips.com. Uh, just so you can see, uh, there's a couple different combinations of characters that you can hit on your keyboard, and you'll get different effects with a screenshot. So uh, that's it, guys. Graphic Designer Tips is where it's at. So any questions, comments, leave them. I uh, hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, talk to you soon. Peace.